Hello, thank you for joining me, you're watching Esther from Stampin' Star Creations, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstration in the UK. Today we're using Peaceful Reflections and the Beautiful You stamp set, and this comes in two parts. We're going to be using the lady with the hat today. Taking the real red and a blender pen. I don't have a Stampin' Right marker in red, so this is my second option. And we're going in and colouring in the dress detail taking your time over this to get the right parts and colouring the hat with the red as well. Then after that we're going to go in with the black Stampin' White marker which I happen to have and just colouring in any parts of her flesh and her hair, so her arms, her hair and her face. Stamp that down fairly centrally onto some Whisper White and then your image is ready to go. We're going to take that, what I call, I don't know, hummingbird type design <laughs> stamp, turning it upside down and then going in with the real red and starting at the top of that stamp to match the edge of her dress and going in four times, um, each time getting some more ink. Gonna go in with that sort of split um, fan shape stamp and then just doing three generation stamping to create the fan above her head and then doing the same to add something to her hand as well. Now this can look like it's coming out of her hat or her hand, depending on what way you look at it, I guess. Using the blend pen again, we're going to create an ombre effect by just keep using up the ink that's on our pen each time we start a new bit of that design to fill in the colour on her dress. Same again, just fill in the top half and her hat with the blender pen. I'm going in with Memento ink and that squiggly C uh, watery stamp and we're just creating layers stamping repeated times to get some long hair. Going in with that heart shaped stamp and just adding some more detail to her dress and creating a more feathered look at the bottom and to cover up that boo-boo that happened to come off my block when I was stamping. Same again with that more detailed stamp, that single one. These stamps are used as, you know, together so they are used to be able to fill in gaps for the bigger images but as you can see I'm just using them here to be creative and to add some feather detail. I'm using some copy paper this is quite useful because you can see through it and just masking off that area and it's movable I've just put a little bit of blue tack underneath to position that. Going in with Daffodil Delight and I'm just using the sponge brayer to create a spotlight effect. going in from the edges towards the circle and leaning on one side so that I get some striped effect. Like I said, I want it to look like spotlights and going right up to the edge of her dress. To just add a bit more highlighting, I've gone in with crushed curry and just add a bit more colour to give it some more depth. I decided to use the, my Memento ink again and just getting a sponge to fill in the bottom half so that I can ground the picture. And now for the great reveal. There she is in her full glory in a spotlight. I went ahead and mounted it on a bit of basic black and real red to complete the card. You can use any sentiment with this. I decided to maybe save the sentiment for the inside rather than putting it on the front. Okay, here is another version of the similar card. This time I thought I'd do totally different colours. I'm using Gorgeous Grape and left her with short hair this time. And with the idea that it could be a ballroom dancer as well, not just a flamenco dancer. I'm using the fuller flower image. 
and this time I'm going to stamp twice second generation stamping just moving my stamp over a little bit going in again and then going again with full strength so you can fit about five stamps on that one again just using that blender pen to fill in the gaps and to give it a bit of colour this time I didn't go so full with the feathers and just adding fan and feather decoration again filling out the bottom of the skirt just to make it look a bit fuller and more floaty I went in with pool party for the briaring this time and soft suede for the ground for a different look went ahead and mounted that on pool party double layer and then gorgeous grape and there's the two different cards side by side Thank you ever so much for watching, do give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed my video, subscribe to my channel for more creative ideas and you can shop with me at stampinstarcreations.co.uk. Here's a look at the completed cards that I've made. Thank you very much for watching, have a good day.